Hi guys, Luca here from mql4tradingautomation.com In this video I'm going to show you how you can use MetaTrader for client to backtest an expert advisor. First of all we need to define what backtesting is. Backtest basically means simulating the performance and the behavior of an expert advisor with historical data. So what you're doing is having MetaTrader to run a simulated chart with the market condition of the past and see what the expert advisor would have done in that situation. Backtesting is very useful if you want to test an expert advisor for possible bugs. It is useful to optimize entry and exit conditions and it is very useful to understand what could be the performance of an expert advisor. Always remember that Past results are not a guarantee of future performance. So if, for example, the expert advisor was generating money in the past, this does not guarantee that it will generate a profit in the future. We can start the backtesting opening our MetaTrader for client. Mine is already open. To backtest, you need the strategy tester. And the strategy tester is a component native in MetaTrader that you can find usually in the bottom part. If you don't have the strategy tester available in your chart, you can enable it from the bar strategy tester or also in the view menu strategy tester. Once you have it in the client, double click it and you have your strategy tester open. The strategy tester can backtest expert advisor or indicators. I made another video regarding the backtesting of indicator so I'm not going to show you that backtesting in this video. In this video we just see the expert advisor backtesting. So select expert advisor. This is just an example so you can just pick any of the expert advisors available in your client. In this case I just select one that is available with MetaTrader native you select which currency pair you want to backtest the expert advisor in which time frame with what with which model and i always recommend to use every tick which is the most reliable and accurate you can select what spread to use if the market is open i would say to use the current spread if the market is closed you can select manually a spread that is close to the market condition i would i would recommend also to select the dates of start and end of the testing and it's up to you if you want to use the visual mode or not. When you don't use the visual mode, the backtesting is very fast, while if you use the visual mode, the backtesting will be slower, but you will have a chart where you see what is the expert advisor doing during the run. On the right, with expert properties, you can select 
the parameter of the ex expert advisor that is running in this case there are only a few and we want to leave them as they are because it's just an example we test on two weeks period with current I click start in this case it was only two weeks and the expert advisor ran pretty quickly once the back testing is finished you will have multiple tabs one is the setting one is the results where you can see the list of operations made by the expert advisor so there is a buy order and then close buy close again another long order closed you can see for each order what was the profit or loss and the updated balance in the settings you can also select with which balance you want to start the back testing and if you want to limit the operation for example if you want to have long only or short only the graph shows you the equity and the balance in this case we can see that we started from ten thousand dollars which was the initial investment to then have some profit and some losses the report is probably the most useful of the tabs where you have a lot of statistics regarding the expert advisor that just ran in this case we had 1217 bars tested with a number of ticks no errors there was initial deposit of ten thousand dollars the net profit is sixteen dollars absolute drawdown total trades performed and many other statistics that can give you an, an expectation of what would have been the performance of that expert advisor in that testing time frame the modeling quality is how accurate the back testing is and in normal condition it is 90 percent in another video i will show you how you can extend this modeling quality to 99.9 percent .9%, but for that you will need a third party software check in the playlist or in the other videos for the 99.9 .9 modeling quality backtesting The last tab is journal, which is similar to a log, and it's actually a log that shows you what the expert advisor was doing and the terminal, when it started, what was doing, all the operations, and so on. To backtest an expert advisor or an indicator, you always need historical data. You can check in my videos, I created another one regarding how to download free historical data and I can suggest you to go and watch it if you don't know how to get historical data.
okay this is all for this video i hope that you enjoyed and it was useful for you i'll see you next time bye